What's up guys? I hope you're doing well. So I haven't brought you guys along on a project video in quite a while, but I think you're gonna like this one. So if we back up here, this is the entrance into our kitchen. And when you walk in, this is our breakfast nook. And you can see that our breakfast nook kind of has a lower ceiling. Leaves this area here with a good amount of space that I want to build an apothecary shelf. This kitchen has quite a large footprint, but it is super unusable. I have been dehydrating almost everything that comes out of the garden. Uh, this dehydrator here has pretty much not stopped for probably months at this point. And I was actually thinking about doing a review on that dehydrator. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. But I want to store some pretty things that I've dehydrated. Like this is a jar of peppers. I don't know if there's bad glare on it, but like they're super pretty. So I thought that unused space would be a perfect spot to store some jars. So we're going to be making a shelf that fits one jar deep of all kinds of dehydrated things. It'll be really pretty and really functional. I was gonna go ahead and just put a regular shelf up there, you know, just get a board, stain it, be done with it. I thought let's make this a little bit more interesting and try and do a faux live edge board. So we're going to go get the board now and I'll come back and show you what I, my thought process is on how to turn just a cheap board from the hardware store into something that looks like a million bucks. And before we get started, I just wanted to remind you guys that these sweatshirts here are available on our website right now at www.thegpvv.com. I'll link that in the description below. They're super comfortable and perfect for anybody who has chickens or just likes really cozy sweatshirts. I do not know why they insist on being in here when we're in the middle of using power tools. You would think that they'd be scared of it. laid out here and now John is going to take the jigsaw and just start cutting some pieces away and then I'm going to take the orbital sander and just really go ham uh, just make it look more like a natural live edge piece of wood this doesn't have to be precise uh, you just want to make sure that it looks natural I'm going to hit it with a hammer and make sure that it's not too perfect looking you know that's really the beauty of this project is it can be customized to your space and you can really do as much or as little sanding and shaping as you want with this uh, think of it as like uh, you are sculpting a shelf rather than building it Now that our piece is cut apart, we have our board here, and this is just scrap. We don't need that anymore. I'm going to take my orbital sander, starting with 80 grit sandpaper on my orbital sander, or you can do it by hand too. It'll just take a little bit longer. And I'm going to get all of these edges really smooth and nice to make it look like it wasn't cut, like it was just there in nature. So that's what I'm going to do now. I've got two pieces to do that. Then we're going to stain these. And I'm going to stain the top lighter than I stain the sides because the sides, you know, if it was actually real live edge, it would have bark on it or, you know, it would have a darker wood on the outside. So that's what I'm going to try and mimic with the shelves. So let's get these sanded and smooth. that 
I'm all done with the sanding, I'm going to take a hammer or you could take any number of objects. Some people do it with chains or anything heavy. And I'm just going to go on the edges and hit it with the hammer uh, randomly just to give it a little bit more of a natural bark-like texture. Now that this is all done, you can see it just gave it a little bit more texture. The top color, I've got golden pecan. And then the bark, the, the edges, is going to be early American. turned out absolutely amazing. I went in with a light stain first, not putting it on here, and then I did, with the same cloth, I put this on, sorry my camera's having a hard time focusing, uh, but I put the brown, or the darker color on, and then I went back over with the lighter color to feather out the edges, and it really turned out amazing. So now I just need to let those dry and go inside and paint the wall because once the shelf is up, uh, it would be really hard to paint the wall later and I know that I don't want the kitchen the color that it is. So I will be painting at least that one wall right now, not the rest of the kitchen. But yeah, we just gotta let these dry. Depending on if I feel like it, I will put a coat of polyurethane on, maybe not. They're just shelves, they're not gonna get wet or anything like that. So yeah, this really is an inexpensive project depending on how long you want the shelf like one board was like eight dollars and something and then i already had the stain and everything like that so this is a really really cheap way to get a really luxury looking product for way cheaper because live edge wood can be so incredibly expensive so this is definitely a hack that i would try if you want the look and i was actually thinking that this would be a great way to do it the same way take one of those cheap uh, full length mirrors and put one on either side like take the border off of it and make a really nice like dupe of those live edge mirrors. I might do that next. I do need a full length mirror in my room, but they are so crazy expensive. So make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to see that. I think that might be a project in my near future. So it is the next day and now we're gonna get back to work. We have a it's quite echoey in my kitchen now because behind me used to be this shelf here with all of our um, stuff on it that we can't fit in like our kitchen cabinets or on our counters. And so that got moved to the breakfast nook for now. Uh, but now we have this wall painted and let's see, that's where the shelf is going to go. So we've painted this wall. I have to put one more coat on it. Ended up getting a little distracted yesterday because I decided that yesterday was gonna be the day that we finally switch out our kitchen ceiling light. So right here used to be the ugliest, dirtiest, grossest fan. And I decided last minute, last night, that uh, this was gonna be the day that we finally change it. And so we went to Menards and Home Depot and HomeSense and we finally ended up at World Market. It is so difficult to find an in-stock ceiling light that fits your aesthetic that you can take home today that's not a million dollars. They just have really ugly ones in stores. So we ended up at World Market and I wanted to give you this tip in case you're looking for something like this too. So we just ended up buying its... Um, Call it's ceiling hardware kit. It's from World Market. They also make these in plug-in versions too. It's it was $16.99. I use them all the time for grow lights. I will put a grow light bulb in them and just hang them with like a cup hook above wherever I have a plant that maybe it needs a little bit of extra light. I love them. They're super inexpensive and, and they work great. And so what we ended up doing is just getting one of those and then we just got a lampshade. As you can see, this is just a lampshade. This one's metal. Um, it puts really pretty, like, designs on the ceiling. There's just the hardware kit. We do have to do a little bit of patching from where the fan hole was a little bit too big for this. I just wanted to give you guys a little idea in case you are looking for an inexpensive and easy way to just put, like, a light fixture in your ceiling or even just use it as, like, you know, the plug-in version. Um, yeah, just get that from World Market. They come in like black, white, uh, that one is like brass, but it's more like gold. They come in clear, uh, all different options. And then you can just put a 
any lampshade you want on it. And it gives you a really inexpensive light fixture. So now back to our scheduled program here. So I'm just gonna do one more coat on the walls here of the white paint. And then when John gets home, we can put up the shelves. outro for about a week now and I'm finally doing it okay this is Olivia you saw her previously in the video and she loves to climb on people she is always on our shoulders that's very inappropriate Olivia uh, yeah she's always on her shoulders um, she has no idea what personal space is uh, we have her and her sister from the same litter um, so all three of our cats that we have now um, actually are biological sisters or from the same mom. Two of them were born in the same litter, her and her sister and the one that we had before, Lucy, uh, she came from a litter before. But I wanted to just kind of give you a rundown. We've had the shelf up for probably about a week now, maybe a little longer. This video has dragged on way longer than I expected uh, simply because of editing purposes and all that. Um, but I love this thing. I love this shelf so much because I can't stand the cabinets or the layout of the kitchen. I really haven't done anything with the kitchen since we've moved in. And so having this little bit in here that is truly our style, I just love it. I'm not exactly sure what will end up actually being up there. I know I want some pretty dehydrated things and stuff like that. And right now I have my uh, crystal bowl collection up there. We even added some little white cup hooks up there so I'll be able to dry herbs on it. So thank you guys for hanging out with me and doing this project with me. And I'm sure you'll see Olivia in a lot more videos to come. Don't forget, if you guys are interested in supporting this channel and getting a really cozy sweatshirt for you or your loved ones for this holiday season, head to our website, which I'll link in the description below, and have a wonderful day. Bye.